Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and if you're not running at least Unify Controller version 6.5.54, you are vulnerable to CVE 2021-4428 or the Log4J problem that's going around right now in December of 2021. Quick explainer, Log4J is a logging facility for Java applications if you don't want to write your own logging facility to standard output or use some special tool. It does not have proper input sanitization, which allows for remote code execution just from parsing the log. So this is a logging facility that is very popular, very widely used by many, many companies, Unify included, who wrote their controller software specifically in Java. And then they chose this particular tool, which unfortunately didn't input sanitize the code, which means if you have ports publicly exposed, such as you have the controller hosted well, maybe at your office like we do, and you have your different network devices outside of the network and you open ports so they can talk back in. Any logging that would have been done on that port that is then parsed inside the controller would then have a problem. This also goes for if you expose the web interface, which we don't, but we do have a couple ports open. I am not 100% right now which ports get logging and which ones don't because the logging port specifically is not one we open for Unify, but it's best to get updated because if any of these ports that are open actually pass through the log J4 process within the Unify controller, there's a potential for that to be exploited. So if you have this completely on a closed network with nothing on the network locally that could be attacking it, you haven't opened it, there's much less risk, but I still recommend patching. If you have this exposed because you're running it on a hosting environment, I recommend you absolutely get this patched. If you're running this on Hostify, yes, Riley Chase rolled out the patch immediately as soon as this came out. Ubiquity was very quick to do this, and as soon as the problem was made aware to the greater security teams and everything out there and a patch was available they were quick and on top of it but of course people are not always quick and on top of it so i wanted to just tell people get it out there get it patched so you're not vulnerable now, I will be leaving a link right here to the Unifar application 654. If there's a newer version when you're watching this in the future, get whatever the latest version is. But this is just them talking about it. And as I said, they were very quick to be on top of this. But I also want to mention the new security bulletin that came out today on December 13th is a little different, but not anything different you have to worry about if you've already patched and loaded that version. This is just more the official write-up on here and talking about just how bad it is because as we triage this, as we get a better understanding of the severity of this vulnerability, it was really bad as what we thought in the beginning and as it's proved three days later to prove to be really, really bad. All right. Next thing I want to mention is this right here. Someone had asked me about log 4J attacks on Unify cameras. Unify Protect, which is the current camera system offered by Unify, does not run on Java, therefore is not vulnerable. So this appears to be a false positive. And that is me commenting right here that it's false positive. This has also been posted over in the Ubiquity forums. I'll leave a link to this as well. And same thing, Ubiquity saying we don't run this on here. This is UI Marcus. I believe he's one of the security people on there. Uh, if I clicked on it, it might tell me. But nonetheless, it is uh, really important to remember let's focus on what's important. The Unify Protect system doesn't run on Java. Therefore, it's not really a concern in terms of this particular vulnerability. But if you're running the old system, there's very strong likelihood that it is vulnerable to that and it's end of life, which is the old Unify video that was end of life a while ago. If you're running that, sorry, there's no patch for it. Uh, if you do some digging around, you'll actually find some people discussing ways to patch it. I've seen that in different forums, uh, but I don't know if any of them are good. So I'm not going to post a link to them. So I've not vetted it. And I don't have anybody running Unify video. Now we updated our controller to 6.5.54. There's a couple of other things I wanted to talk about real quick. And that is hopefully to answer the question of were you compromised? Now, this is not something that affects the access points themselves. It's all based on the controller because the access points or the switches do not run Java. But if you do have these controllers publicly exposed, there is a risk. Well, we use a tool called Graylog. I've talked about it on my channel before. And Graylog is a full logging system. By going through our logs, we were able to see that there was actually no attempts with that particular string until December 13th. And we patched on the day the Unify controller came out, which was on December 10th. So we patched right away. I can go through the logs. There's actually no logs showing anyone trying to use that exploit for the last couple of days. And then all of a sudden this morning, I seen a few of them start hitting. Now, 
Seeing this in your logs is not an indication of compromise. It is an attempt, but that attempt, if it doesn't have anywhere to go, doesn't go anywhere. For example, looking at my web server logs, I did see right away on my forums, for example, quite a few attempts on there. Nothing on my forums runs anything Java with log 4J in it. Therefore, none of my forums were you know, anything more than just annoyance to see it all in the logs on there. So seeing in the logs is not an indicator of compromise, but seeing that compromise can be, you know, scary when you start seeing, oh my gosh, my logs are filled with that. If you don't have any vulnerable applications, they're just noise in the logs and they just return 404 pages for people sending them over to my web server because there's nothing there to see. If you are really being a little bit more cautious and you think maybe you were compromised because you're watching this in the future and there's a lot of attacks out there, you can take a backup of Unify. Hopefully, to my knowledge at this time, there's no way to infect the backup itself. You would download the backup, reload the controller, and restore the backup, and that should be able to do it and just destroy whatever machine that was running on. So hopefully, these are enough steps to mitigate this. I will do updated videos if there's something more we know in the future. Right now, it's just everything's on fire, and let's get this patched as fast as we can to avoid more things catching on fire in the future and we already know there will always be some people out there that have got these servers running and it's not broke don't fix it until uh, something more severe comes along and leverages this to stack it with some other vulnerabilities to create something well really terrible either a whole lot of crypto miners running or uh, maybe some type of new botnet attack that'll come out of this because there's so many things vulnerable to this not just unify but uh, nonetheless please get patching on this so you're not part of the problem thanks and thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a short project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.